Alrighty guys, welcome back and in this video I want to show you how to transfer files to and from your server using SFTP. Now I'm going to assume that you guys already used FileZilla before and you know the basics of FTP. SFTP is just a more secure protocol than FTP because it uses SSH and I would highly recommend using SFTP over regular FTP whenever you can. So this tutorial isn't going to be, you know, instructions on how to use FileZilla or the protocols. I just want to show you guys how to set it up because, like I said, I'm sure you already know the basics of it. So once you have FileZilla downloaded and installed, go to Edit, Settings, and from here choose SFTP. Now since this protocol uses SSH, what we need to do is we need to tell FileZilla where our private key is. So if you go to Add Key File, browse to wherever you stored your private key again the public one is the one that goes on the server the private one is the one that's on our personal computer so open that and just click OK to save it and now that it has the private key we need to tell it one other thing and that is what computer or what server are we trying to connect to so we need to give the IP address and the port and also the protocol so if you go to file site manager then from here we can just add a new site and the host and actually before we do that it's better to name it so I'm just gonna name this like droplet one hit enter and the host is just the IP address so this is the server that we're trying to connect to and remember the default port for SSH is 22 so if you didn't change it then keep that however earlier in um, I don't know, like five tutorials ago, remember that we actually changed the SSH port to 7777. So that's the port that we're going to use. And the protocol, of course, we're not using FTP anymore. We're using SFTP. So it's, again, from a user point of view, it's the exact same thing as FTP. But behind the scenes, it's just a little bit more secure. So select that. And the login type is actually interactive. And... I just want to delete all this because we don't need any of that. Interactive means whenever we log in, then we can just type, you know, like Bucky or whatever, just like we were logging in through the terminal. So we can actually just hit connect right now. And yep, that's where you're trying to connect. What user do you want to log in as? Well, how about Bucky? And hit OK. Yes, we trust it. And we are now connected. So all of the files on the right hand side are for the server. The left hand side is for your own computer and you can transfer files back and forth. So let's say that you wanted to, I don't know, what do we want to do here? Oh no, let's just uh, look at the home page file. So var www html and let me just download this to show you guys. So if you double click it, from the server it's going to download onto your local machine and we can see that it got downloaded onto our local machine and let me just open this in notepad even though you guys can't see it because it's off the screen check it out so there you go that's how you download files from your server you can also you know work on your project on your own machine and then when you're ready bump it to the server so yeah there you go hopefully you guys enjoyed see you next video